Hello YouTube, this is Dometry101 and today I'm going to show you how to make a spam bot on Visual, Visual Basics 2010 Express. So first open the window, of course. Uh, click on new project, name it spam bot. I've made quite a lot of spam bots so it's not my first one. Um, just customize the window size and shape. Then rename it as you want. Spambot version 1.15 tutorial. Then I have an icon, so I'll choose it. Well, you can get icons just on sites and on icon makers, create converters and everything. Okay, so you have to you have to add three buttons: start button, a close uh, start button, and a close button, and one label, and um, yes, and a text box. So it's as simple as that. Oh, um, a timer. A timer. So first, you go make the visuals. So here I'm gonna make the label one here. There we go. Make a big one. On um, the next tutorial, I'll have is the advanced ones so you're gonna have the clear box and everything so gonna be more advanced up, up. button one is start button two is stop and button three is close doesn't really matter what the size or whatever just you need to they need no never mind anyway so button one it's called start button two let's call it stop and this one you can name it close or exit or name it exit so um, here you can just if you want a video you can just go on, on multi line and expand it and here so it's more visible you go on label one um click on the font then you press like i i usually make it on 20 and name it or uh, spam text On, so now let's get into the coding. Uh, double click on every button you have made. So there are three buttons. Then also the timer. So you have to set up the timer. So these are the, c the um, these are the commands you have to put in, which I'll put in the description box. Send keys dot send. Um, yeah, text box one dot text and close the brackets. And the other one is send keys dot send. And just follow, just follow what this, and everything's gonna be fine. Enter. I don't really know how they call these brackets, but anyways. So the timer is set, so now you have to m make it logic. So when you press start, you're going to make timer one dot enable. And you're going to make it an make it true. Since it's the true button, or uh, the start button. It will equals true. On the stop button, you have to make timer, right, timer one, 
dot enable false and then of course the exit button um yeah so you just put exit oh sorry end or close so easy so there you have the visuals and the basics whatever now you open it a text box you type in your text here um you press start but be precise if not it's gonna bug be precise oops okay might have a bug so press f5 Okay, it's bugging. Oh, I miss. Okay, so I stopped the debugging. Okay, so it's enter. Sorry. Okay. So I the first debug. And put here goes the text so you press start double click and it will make it and um, you can oh, there you go exit you can also set the speed um, that's also going to be in the um, in the next tutorial which would be how to make a spam bot advanced customized and everything so you can make like every time you want it to go slower you have to uh, multiply by by a thousand so first one thousand is gonna make you one sp one one spam you know like per second so she's not bad so spam one start double click every one second you'll have this you have your text. See? Okay, you press top, exit. Um the sorry. Here if if you set it on one thousand it's it's very good because it won't bug. And by the way, do not do not press uh, start well with with some text on it and click on the on desktop or anything else. Only text boxes. Okay, so now we can go to the public uh publish so you don't need to have you know like install it and everything sorry um my bot i can't edit. okay so you have to publish go and publish set the publish place um folder location click on application files and choose the ones that you don't want but this is obligatory obli um, obligatory to have one so you shouldn't touch on this requires just uncheck the box on the very top and go to options and set the properties the publish language English deployment uncheck the use deploy dot deploy file extension uncheck it now here you go dummy on a k a h a i h a i g h a m e this is just one right? spam bot blah blah okay i love my cat Okay, a folder should come up automatically. Oh, sorry, forgot. My God, you have to press publish now, and a folder will come automatically up. Yeah. So it come up now. You make application files, spam bots, and this which is application. See that is start, stop, exit. 
and you can just delete these and leave only the application spam bot application sorry even the manifest just delete it and there you go so have fun and I hope you learned something today bye